from Molino and I'm over, I'm over the second noon side and one thing that I love about seminary is you can just come and like not worry about anything and just be ready to hear the lesson and I love that. Hey everybody, so some advice for seminary would be to ask good questions. I know some of the stories in the scriptures are a bit hard to understand, but that's why we go to seminary. Our two seminary teachers are very good at answering questions that you may have, so if you're confused about something, just ask. 90% of the time, they will have the answer for you, and the other 10% of the time that they don't have the answer, they will find it for you. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Hi, I'm Leslie Matthijs, and I'm the historian for the Seminary Council. One thing of advice I could give is just to share, and share as often as you can. I remember when I was a freshman, I was super nervous to share, and my companion would share all the time, and so it was super awesome. So once I finally shared, and it was just a really awesome feeling because people were telling me, people would tell you like, oh, thanks for sharing, and you never know what kind of impact you can make on somebody else. So just, just share. Hi, my name is Brianna McBride, and I am the secretary of the Seminary Council. My advice to you guys this year is to read the assigned chapters every single night because I know how much it has helped me to read the, the chapters the night before so then I am more able to understand the, the scriptures that we're studying the next day. So I hope you guys do that. Hey guys, I'm Rachel Smith. I'm in charge of the, set, the last noon side for Seminary Council and some advice that I would give you for this year would be to always sing the hymns. It has a way of bringing the spirit into the lesson, and it may seem awkward at first, but I guarantee you it'll change your seminary experience for the better. Hi, I'm Micah Matthews, and I'm on the seminary council, and I'm over at the opening and closing social for this upcoming year. One thing that has really changed my seminary experience is taking advantage of the time to write in my scripture journal. This has really helped me personally because it has brought me closer to my Heavenly Father and I'm able to recognize His hand in my daily life. And also, I've come closer to my Savior and I can use the experiences that I learned to help others as well as myself and I'm grateful for that. Hey, I'm Haley Greer and I'm in charge of the First Noon Side and I absolutely love seminary. And I'm so excited for this year that we get to read the New Testament so that every day we can read about Jesus Christ and come closer to Him. My name is Julia Farron and I'm over birthdays this year. I just wanted to share my testimony with you guys of seminary. It's a very special place. It's where the spirit can dwell and it's where I've come to find a lot of peace through my years of high school. Days can get hard, but it's comforting to know that there's a place where I can just set aside all of my problems and go and learn about the gospel and spend time with Christ. I know that if you will apply yourself and engage yourself in the work that you do here that your testimony will grow and your life will change and I say this in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Hi, my name is Caleb Matthias, I'm part of the seminary council this year and one thing I've learned throughout all my years of seminary is that there's always an excuse, there's always an excuse to not go to seminary or to not read your scriptures or to not say your prayers, but if you just buckle down and do it with the right attitude and the right mindset, it will make all the difference. Hey there guys, I'm Connor Palmer. Um, I'm over the opening and closing socials this year, and I guess my advice to you would be to really focus on your relationship with Jesus Christ this year. Um, I love my Savior. He's my best friend, and He can be yours too. I really hope you guys take it serious that it's an opportunity to build a relationship that's going to last you through the hardest times of your life, so really learn to love your Savior this year. Hi, this is Liz Sampson, and I'm over missionaries and family history. And I just want to invite you all to become really good friends with your seminary companion and to get to know them really well because I know that companionships are inspired. And I also know that if you share and listen to them that you'll learn a lot of things. Hey guys, uh, my advice to you is that seminary truly can change lives. Uh, the only person that can make that happen though is you. If you come with a broken heart and a contrite spirit and you give forth your best efforts then I know that seminary can truly strengthen your testimony. And uh, I'm so grateful that I can be you guys' seminary president, and I love you all. I hope that we can have the best seminary experience yet. Hey everyone, this is Brother Norton. If I was to give you one piece of advice for this year, it would be this, let go of pride. Don't let yourself get in the way of others or of yourself to have access to the atonement. I know Jesus Christ lives. I know he's our savior and our redeemer. And I promise you, if you let go of pride, 
um, you will have peace and joy and have access to things that you couldn't have access to before. Again, let go of pride and have a wonderful year. We're excited to have you. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello, I'm Brother Palmer, and I just want you to know that I love you, and I'm super excited for the New Testament year.